All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over what to do after you get your CCNA. So you got your CCNA, you went through all that struggle of studying, doing all those labs day by day, all those flashcards, and then you finally end up taking your exam and passing it. So I want to say congratulations to anyone who just recently passed their exam or passed their exam before. Um, it's a huge feat to cross. And when, as soon as I passed that CCNA, I was like ecstatic and very happy. So uh, congratulations to you guys if you ended up passing your CCNA, if you guys are still, still studying, keep going, keep grinding, it takes time. And uh, within maybe uh, maybe in a couple of months, you'll, you'll come back to this video and uh, you'll, pass, you'll have your CCNA pass. So um, with that being said, sort of in today's video, I wanted to kind of just go over what to do after you get your CCNA, because there seems to be a lot of questions about this. And I wanted to make it clear for everyone to kind of see where to go, because I, in my case, I as soon as my sort of like path was, I had my degree, I got my CCNA, then I got a job. So I want you guys to sort of maybe, it really depends on everyone's case. So in, so let's say you get your CCNA. First of all, even before you get your CCNA, you, you should have had a plan on what you wanted to accomplish after the fact. So uh, let's say you got your CCNA and you wanted to become a network engineer. Okay, so if that's your goal, you first have to see wh what sort of experience you have because the CCNA is not enough just to land a job. You sort of, you need to have some sort of experience under your belt. So um, if you guys are working NOC and you got your CCNA, then I would say that you have um, enough experience to sort of um, land a sort of network, network engineering job. Um, if you have zero experience, if you came from, let's say, let's say hypothetically your help desk, right? You got your CCNA. I would say use that CCNA to get a higher level um, networking role or a higher level NOC role or sort of help desk role that involves more of the networking side because obviously, um, the CCNA is a really good certification, but it doesn't cover all bases. And if you don't have that real, real, real world experience with um, with networking, it's going to be much more difficult to land positions because they just they won't you know see you you know as someone that's valuable to the company with that that level of experience. So I would say focus a lot on getting experience as soon as you possibly can, and and just really what you want to do is you want to start leveling up your job, right? So if your job involved a little like tier one support networking then I would say move up one level up using your certification as a on your resume to prove that you know you, you know the knowledge and you know you can move up to higher levels. Basically the whole point of getting your CCNA is to elevate your career, right? It validates your knowledge, yes it does, but the whole point of this is to, uh, to elevate your career and go into higher levels. So that's what you always should be doing. So um, so like, like I said, it really just depends on where you wanna go. If you guys want to get a security route, then you guys should look at other security certifications or look at other look at other roadmaps for security. But if you guys want to be network engineers, I think the CCNA is a very solid certification. And some of the stuff that you should do next really just depends on where you're at currently, right? So it really depends where you're starting. If you're still in school, keep going with school, get your internships. If you guys are currently working, want to become network engineers, look at your current experience level and determine where you want to go. So if you're if you're if you're still in help desk, try to get into NOC. If you're a NOC, try to become a network engineer if you have it's just CCNA, right? That's my sort of idea of what you guys should be doing. Um, like I said, if you guys have a different um, idea, feel free to comment below and we can kind of go over that. So um, so what sort of certifications to get after your CCNA, right? So let's say you got your CCNA, what to do after. I would say, um, and you want to become a network engineer, I would say start studying for either other vendors, which is also going to be useful, but I really it really just depends on where you work. So if you guys want to learn Juniper, go ahead and learn Juniper. If you guys want to learn Arista, go ahead and learn Arista. But it really just depends on where you're starting from, right? Um, and it really depends on what you're doing in your current job. So if you guys are doing a lot of optical work in your job, look into learning more optical stuff, right? It's all context dependent, right? But there's one thing I want you guys to know is if you guys really like the networking track, you guys really want to just keep going, I would say start studying for your CCMP. And the CCMP is a very much more difficult exam than the CCNA. And it's going to take much more time to actually uh, study and pass exam and the CCMP is now something I'm actually currently working towards so it's definitely a lot to learn there's a lot more BGP involved a lot more policy so there's there's a lot to learn in that exam and I, if you guys want to get into it there's definitely a lot of tracks you guys can go into and if you guys want to do and get if you guys want to get your CCMP I would say wait until you get at least a little bit of experience first because that experience getting your CCNA and then getting your CCMP and still having no, no sort of networking experience is not really the best look in my opinion because you'll just be seen in the industry as someone who's he just gets certifications he's not actually he or she is not actually um getting experience right you can have all the certifications in the world if you could you could have a ccie but having no experience it's not going to help you right it, it just doesn't make sense so you guys 
You need to focus on getting experience as soon as you possibly can that's networking related, right? If you want to become a network engineer. If you guys want to get security, look into other services. Look into CompTIA. If you have five years experience, look into the CISS, CISSP. Um, it really just depends on where you want to go. If you want to get into cloud, you and some people, they get their uh, networking certification ba mainly because they just want to uh, have an understanding of networking and use that uh, to add it to your resume. So it really just depends, guys. Um, it's context dependent. In my case, I'm actually currently working towards my CCMP, um, but I did have my CCNA and I had it for about three years now. So about three years, right? Um, and, and that was a bit, and that might seem like a bit of a gap, but that three years was was got, was uh, basically experience, right? And and that and that three years of experience is way more valuable than the CCNA, right? The CCNA really just to help you get through the door, right? But the three years of experience and, and the experience that you gain on the job is going to be completely different because you're going to be learning different things. You're going to be learning how the job works. You're going to be learning how vendors work. Uh, you're going to be it's just there's a lot that goes involved that's involved um, that 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 you just can't cover, right? And when you're doing something on a day to day basis. You're learning it a lot faster and a lot more because you're seeing it every single day. You're seeing things, right? When you see something every single day, it's set, it starts to become second nature to you. So that's one of the good things about getting experience is that your 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 learning capacity is just gonna get better, and it's gonna be even easier to study for higher level networking certifications, right? Because if you're trying to study for your CCMP with no experience, it's gonna be extremely difficult to understand the concepts because you're not doing it on a day to day basis. It's hard to understand the context of something if you don't do it. You don't uh, like you don't know how it's going to be Im implemented in the real world. But when you see things being implemented in the real world, you actually can see the BGP configurations. You can see the policies. You can see all that sort of t uh, technical jargon. It's going to be easier, right? So with that being said, guys, um, what to do after CCNA? It really is context dependent. Um, it really just depends, right? If you want to become a network engineer, I would say get get um, experience or leverage your current CCNA for a higher level networking role. I would say do that. Um, but I would not recommend you guys go from CCNA and then go to another certification right after like a CCMP because that's just, I mean, you could study, like I'm, I'm not saying don't study. You can study all you want, but I would not try to pursue it as, as, as strong as you uh, could pursue a better career opportunity. So I would say just focus on, on that. Um, although I would say still learn some of the concepts of the CCMP because that's going to come handy during interviews and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys, you guys uh, found this video very interesting and very um, helpful for you guys. So if you guys want to go and subscribe to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. And yeah, we're going to make some more content about networking, about CCNA. So feel free to comment below on what sort of content you guys want to hear. And uh, we'll keep them coming. With that being said, guys, uh, thank you so much and uh, peace.